Mr. Plums, welcome back to my channel. Guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to transform this little side table from IKEA into something like this. Now, technically those are supposed to be little laptop computer desk, but I love them as side table, so that's what I'm going to be using them for. Now, I want to keep the frame black, so I just went in, I'm going to work with the glass and just change the top part of it. Now, I went in, wipe it off with some alcohol, and then once it's clean and dry up, I'm going to go ahead and draw the shape of the geo that I want to make now you can make whatever you want with it it's glass the epoxy gonna stuck to it so but if you're gonna make like a, a geode or something like this I highly suggest that you use like a marker to kind of draw the shape first that way it'll be way easier for you to just go ahead and start making your project now I want to keep part of it like clear so that's why I'm I draw my, my design first now for epoxy I'm gonna be using this epoxy from resin fan and this epoxy is a amazing guys i made a video review, review for them last week so i hope you go and watch that video to see how amazing that epoxy is i'm gonna be using that epoxy and for color i want to be using blue and gold and a little bit of like uh, shimmery pearl white or something like this so i'm gonna be using some alcohol ink uh, also, I'm going to be using black, a little bit of black on it. So I'm using some uh, mica powder, some alcohol ink. Um, as well, we're going to be using some glitter as well. Now for alcohol ink, I'm using green and blues. Um, those alcohol ink are also from Resin Fan. Uh, for uh, mica powder, I'm going to be using mica powder from um, Black Diamond as well as Artistro. Um, also, I'm going to be using maroon gold as the gold and glitter. I'm going to be using a darker blue, a lighter blue, a gold glitter, and a little bit of the unicorn crush class. I went blank for a moment, guys. So I'm going to be go ahead and mix all my, uh, my, my stuff together. Now I am using only the mica powders this time and the alcohol ink. The glitter will be doing on day number two, just because I want everything to be, uh, um, you know completely dry first because I don't want to mix the glitter line to be uh, moved so and it's a super 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 easy project to do it only take me two days to do it completely guys so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just following the line that I created before on the glass I'm just gonna go ahead and put my epoxy down now I'm starting with my darkest blue and this is the uh, tile of blue and this mica powder is from hippie crafter again I love their mica powder as well They're very very nice and pigmented and it melt quite 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 fast and I'm gonna keep going that way and follow you know by the gold and then the low black and then the light uh, my light is blue which is um, my uh, alcohol ink blue mixed with the uh, green alcohol ink and I'm just gonna go ahead and follow and then also I love love this white and this white is from a resin fan it's a gold pearl shimmery white guys it is so beautiful love love this color so i'm gonna go ahead and follow and do um both of them now they don't need to be unique guys they are sisters not twins <laughs> so they are geode so nature will take you know take care of it so they will not be identical but close so i'm just gonna go ahead and heat up my um uh, the epoxy with my um heat gun now at first i was using the nozzle for it but it, it was not uh, what I wanted to do so I went and removed the nozzle and just use my heat gun just like so so I'm just gonna mix uh, some of uh, the color a little bit and create uh, some cell now once the heat hit the the it's precisely the maroon gold guys it create the most beautiful cell I love love the maroon gold if you don't have any gold in your you know your epoxy um, mica powder uh, um, stuff you need to get the maroon gold it is such a amazing beautiful gold it literally float on the surface of the epoxy and create the most beautiful cell and once you heat it with your torch oh my god this gold is beautiful look at this look at this amazing cell this gold created I also have some beautiful cell from the um, gold pearl uh, white from uh, um, resin fan I was very surprised but it also creates some beautiful cell now this is what this uh, look like I'm not gonna touch it I just went and let it completely dry and then on day number two I went and uh, start adding my glitter line now for glitter again I'm gonna be using this beautiful beautiful dark blue glitter almost like 
navy blue but dark black i will link the uh the name for you in word from right now it's not um on top of my head i completely forget where i got it from i got it from amazon but i don't remember the name of the company but it's such a blue color such a beautiful blue and i also went with a lightest blue with a gold glitter and also went with a little bit of the unicorn crush crystal mixed with tiny bit with the um the same uh, gold pearl mica powder from a uh, let's um from resin fan not let's resin so i'm just using a pipette to kind of get precision where i want to uh, put my um, or some of the glitter line and also because i wanted to have like a thicker uh, gold line i'm just gonna be pouring it um you know trying to be as precise um, as precise as i can be but i'm not gonna be using a pipette for the gold uh glitter itself now again um after i finish doing all my gold line guys i'm gonna let it completely dry out and cure and it took about like maybe like five to six hours for it to um dry be become be cured to the touch it wasn't sticky enough but the epoxy i'm using does uh cure a little bit faster i'm not sure if it's because it's a uh, thinner viscosity but i love this epoxy and again it's from a uh, resin fan i will leave the link for you in the description box below as well as uh, a 50 discount discount uh, 15 percent discount code for you as well uh for you to use uh to try to get the epoxy this box guys you need to try it out guys it's super clear no bubble i love it love it now this is what it looked like i'm showing you you how um i leave it down that way and and i leave some clear in the middle because i want the glass to be poking through uh my geode i love love this project guys it's very unique and very beautiful so once this is cured i went and go with my uh pen to go and add some uh, line now for me when i do geode the 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 geode is not complete until you tie everything up with the those beautiful line with your pen this make everything look so much neat and so much beautiful so far again for my gold pen i'm gonna be using the the, the deco premium uh, premium color and in uh white uh, this is from artistro and uh, those colors are, are so beautiful those uh, pen guys you need to get that gold pen from deco art um deco premium color it's a, such a beautiful gold i mean and you can see how beautiful this metallic gold is absolutely stunning also love this white for my artist i use um different white before and i could not find one that i really like and i love this one so again i'll leave everything for you inside my amazon store uh for you if you want to try them out you you can just go and click on the link for the amazon store and i'll have everything that i use in the description box for you link there okay guys so make sure you check it out guys i want to take time to thank you again for subscribing to my channel all my old time subscriber and all the new uh, subscriber welcome to my channel i really appreciate you take the time to watch this video and don't forget to go ahead and like it give it a thumbs up share it with your friend and family and if you find this project interesting don't forget to go ahead and subscribe again and have your notification bell turn on to get notified on all my new video now this is what the little table look like after i put the line on it i let them dry for about like an hour to make sure like everything is completely dry and then i went and put some tape on the um on the edge of the glass because i don't want the epoxy to be uh falling uh under because i i put the tape under but i don't want to waste epoxy epoxy is, is expensive as it is for some reason guys today i cannot talk it's early in the morning here so <laughs> that's probably why so i'm just gonna go ahead and with my clear i'm gonna clear and top coat the whole glass completely now i'm not just gonna be doing the little geode part i'm gonna be doing the whole thing to make sure everything is nice and even because it's gonna be a side table you know when you put your stuff in it you know your glass whatever you put on top of it you don't want it to rubble so i'm just gonna go ahead and put clear on top of it and i'm gonna do that for both of them again 
one of the reason that you have to put the tape to make sure that your epoxy doesn't run off so that's why i did that now i went and quickly go over it with my torch and then that's it voila you just done let it cure remove your uh tape this is the next morning everything is nice and clear beautiful crystal clear and i'm showing you how gorgeous are those glitter lines showing in the uh, geode beautiful 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 now to uh, to clean the edge a little bit because we had the tape there i'm just gonna be using that little tool guys it's a deburring tool i just discovered that tool and i'm wondering why i haven't known about this before i got this on amazon as well and it come with 10 replacement blade best little tool to clean out resin uh, resin edges guys beautiful i'm gonna be showing you how easy it is to cure i mean to clean resin edges all you have to do is Put your tool there, run it around the edge, and it's literally just removing the unwanted edge for you. Make everything so much easier to clean. Look at this, beautiful. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera, clean everything, sand a little bit where you know we have like more sharp edges, and then I put it um, the glass inside the frame again, and this is what it look like gorgeous gorgeous now someone can be like oh i see the same black little table at ikea but i didn't see this one at ikea where did you get it from now i love doing project like this because you take time to customize your project now this those table are very some uh, very cheap at ikea they're probably like 20 to 30 dollars maybe but they are beautiful once you customize it now i have a little nice customized side table and i am in love love with them love love like how the glitter when the light hit the glitter is shimmer you know glitter is beautiful beautiful color now i love love this project guys make sure you turn on for next week video guys you don't want to miss it i will we'll create something amazing for you i will see you on the next video guys don't forget to like comment subscribe on this channel i'll see you on next video until then guys you know what to do be blessed and stay blessed i love you my babies bye Mwah.